to um, let's continue. And um, I said that we're going to find a way of then uh, doing some of this um, CSS styling programmatically. All right. Um, now you can use other frameworks such as Bootstrap uh, uh, and Material Design and so on. But the whole idea of this is learn how to do it yourself. And once you know how to do it yourself, then it's easy to go and use someone else's code. All right. So what have I done? Let's talk about this first of all. All right. I've written this and this will then in turn create then, then as we see here, we've got three columns here all separated in different um, sizes and also then here left and then here right or this well this one and then this outer uh, one here you just have to trust me um, so that's all this is now being styled using JavaScript because then I can um, then we can have runtime um, runtime sizes um, without having to worry about uh, a lot of the, the the smaller stuff. Anyway, so let's have a go through through this, shall we? I've added this styles.js, and um, I've then let's just remove go this down. And I've added this window.ready property, and if it's not, it, well, if it is undefined, then it sets it to be an array. And then we'll just say window.ready push to push this styles window loaded uh, method onto it. Why do I do that? Well, because app.js is the one that um, listens to window.onload. So I don't want to overwrite it and I want to do it twice. So with inside of that, it just says then window.onready or window.onload, then we'll then iterate through each one and call my callbacks in my styles.js, which essentially just um, calls this here. All right. And in this is called handle column selector. Um, and what it does is it looks for all classes that have the class of row. And so we collect all of that. And if it's zero, we just ignore it. All right. And we go on. And then we create an array from that HTML collection and we iterate over each row. We get then the bounding box of that one row to so know the size, the, dom the dimensions of it. And then with inside this row, we then search a query selector all for everything that's got um, a column attribute. Right, so once we've got these column attributes, these column um, elements, once again, we iterate over these and we then go through each column and then we get the actual attribute column. And this is then a percentage and then we say column set attributes is set in the style now. So inline style and the same height is then it's going to be set to the, the rectangle height using pixels. It's going to float left and then we set the width in percentage here. And that's potentially it done. Um, this got then added to um, load templates. And there we just say handle column selector. So every single time a template get loaded, we're going to fire this off um, first of all to position everything, and then it will go through all of the child elements too. All right, so each child then knows how big they are. Um, yeah, I mean, and so this is where I've implemented it in the first place. Is then, so this is inside Tweetbox Toolbar Area HTML. Now Tweetbox Toolbar Area HTML is this bottom bit here. So we've got column one, column two, column three, and this is then the row. So we've got row three, row four, uh, sorry, column one, two, and three, and that is then row here. And that we just said 20%, so if we then say uh, 26, 24, 40, 50, and then we'll say 50 here, and we'll see how this then changes, and you see that it, it updates itself nicely, all right? And this column here as well has been done. So, um, yeah, it's it's very very simple basic code for what we want, and to show that we can still um, do it even further. So we say row here, and then div column for example. Whatever, let's do ten percent. See how this works, shall we? Two three. 
So that's one, two, three. And let's do the final one of them. 470, let's have here. Let's have a look. Refresh it, and then we see here, um, we've got one, two, three, and then 70. So it works perfectly fine, all right? And it's then, it's fitting the size appropriately as well. So we know we've got, we've just got to add a simple, simple class now, and then we can do this. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, right, let's clean up some other, another column. So we'll clean up this column here and this column here because at the moment they were actually we want to clean up this up the top. Or, no, we'll come down to here first of all, and clean this up. So it was in tweaks toolbar. So let's come to let's close all these close all these and tweaks toolbar. So Uh, there is, there is, there is. Navbar buttons it was. Oh, wait a minute, no. I'm not talking about. It's then followers box. Yeah, of course. Followers box. So now we've come to our followers box. And we see here that we've got our followers box toolbar. So if we... Comment this out and then copy it again to see whether our code works. And we'll then say, so we want the, the column one was, well, what size did we have that? Column one was then 33%, and then we had 33%. With 33%, it was fine. So, and that was on what else did it have? Height, float. So, the, the wrapper is already 77. Yeah, so we've got height 60, but the outer box is 77. So, we can. Yeah, that works. It's got. Yeah, that's fine. Margin top. So the only thing that we've got to do here effectively is say this is then row. Say so row. And this doesn't need a class anymore. This just needs column 33.3. And it doesn't need a class anymore either. The only thing that's going to lose is then the padding. And I'm pretty confident this should work. And it did. So there we go. Right, so our boxes are now one, two, three. Which is all fine. And if we make this smaller, yeah, it's still not that it would change anyway. But now they're all working. So the only thing we've got to do now is um, say tweets toolbar title. Uh, here, tweets toolbar title is here, and then we can say margin top is then 12 pixels. Like it comes down again. All right, we've got essentially exactly the same effect, but it's just a bit a bit cleaner, in my opinion. So let's remove this. And toolbar column one. So this can this can all go. We don't need that anymore. Uh, so now we've got this. Okay. Now we also had some problems with uh, this one here. So let's have a look. This was in height fifty percent. And what do we have? That was their followers box. 
user info, yeah, and then that one there. User icon had then a height of 60, width of 60, and that's where we use the float. And this one then has a float left, bloody bloody blah. So we need to come to follow box user icon. Follow box user icon here. So this will then be row. And what other properties did follow box user icon have? Height, display box, width, auto. As height, float left, background color, yellow, border radius. So we need some of it. So that's 44. So let's the the yeah the follow here. Yeah, this one needs a column, so we'll pop this in a column, and this can be a column as to, as well, and we'll say that's twenty, and that's eighty. Let's see how that works first. Okay. Okay, so where's our first column? There's our first column, and there's our second. All right, got to um, take follow its username here. Okay, so we because there's that username needs to have its float removed. Uh, margin left as well. It can't have that because. Uh, we're positioning it. That's now our box is centered, and this other one has been yeah, that's good. They've they've been centered, they've been positioned correctly, but uh, let's change the width of it. So let's come here and say twenty five, and this is then. 75. Uh, it needs a bit more. Let's say 28 and 82. Did I put 82 then? There's something white there. What happened then? Oh, that's okay. Okay, so it looks like we ah, seventy twenty eight seventy two, not eighty two. Okay, it sits back here again. Good. So now we just need to worry ourselves about these text here and user text name. Well that can use a text name. And this thing can come like margin top forty pixels or something. Yep. And then And this one as well. Maybe 20 was too much. That's good. So that I, I'm I'm a lot happier with that now because that's actually positioned my columns a, a lot better. Um, good. So I'm happy with that. Now let's continue on with creating. Uh, so we'll get rid of these um, three columns because here we need. Um, one, two, three, four. So we need like two columns. So one column here and another column here. And then we'll separate this one down again, two columns. So let's say that that is then 65%. So 
So column 35%, 65% inside our get rid of that. Um, tweet box message input area toolbar we're doing now. Okay, so we get rid of these again and we said we wanted 35 and 65. Yep. 35 and 65. So we've got 35, 65. Does that look about all right? Maybe not. 40, 60, 42. We'll say 42 and uh, 58. Yeah, that looks a lot better. 58. So now we've got to separate the 42 down into four equal boxes. So that should be really easy now. And we can say this is then row again. I'm going to copy this. And one, two, three, four. So 25. Move them over. And so one, two, three, four, Back here. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, stupid. Needs a class of row. Okay, there's my boxes. Good stuff. One, two, three, four. Got them, and they're only they're only small anyway. Yeah, that should do. And this one, this one then needs, say, uh, fifty fifty. Oh, that's sixty forty again. So let's come here, row, copy these. I'm going to call that uh, 60, 40s then, 60, 40s here. Don't refresh Twitter, refresh this. And now we've got our 60, 40. Let's separate the number two now with, so that one wants to be, uh, I'd say, 20, 80. So, the right one is we'll take two of these as well, 2080. Twenty eighty. Come here again, and then we've got twenty eighty is definitely not correct. Yeah, it's like 40-60 again. Yeah, it might be that we have to push out this one. So we'll say 50-50. Yeah, it's looking better. Yeah, I like that better now and these maybe we give that right side a bit more space so let's say this then 48 and this then 52 let's see how that then yeah it's a little little gap here now this one box here is going to be empty and potentially we could just say that is then 40 and this one 60 to give this one more room Yeah, it's looking good. Good. Let's now make. Uh, see how simple that was. And we okay, we went backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. We made a whole bunch of boxes really, really quickly. And now we want to come into here as well and make this column. So that's um, would then be message input here, 
and this was the inner so this wants to be a class of row as well and if I got this on paste still yeah I'd say this is going to be 80 20 so now we're doing these boxes here oh no that's it's a 10 90 yeah that's bang on it could actually probably go even smaller let's go 92, 8, yep, yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect, good stuff, so we've got all of our boxes now, all ready to go, yeah, happy with that, oh, yeah, Okay, now we just need some icons. Um, okay, well now now that we've gone so far in this, I will then search for some relevant uh, icons um, for these here, and then we can. They're probably going to be some on Material Design that we can use. Um, and then we'll do that in the next video. We'll, we'll implement the buttons and so on. Okay.